I'm Islam, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Athena to analyze your application load balancer access logs stored in Amazon Simple Store service. Let's get started. Because our application load balancer logs are partitioned, we are going to create a table that uses partitions. In this demo, we'll cover two options that can be used to create a partitioned Athena table. The first option is to create a table with partitions and do the partitions manually using the alter table add partition. The second option is to use partition projection. In partition projections, value and locations are calculated from configuration rather than read from a repository like the AWS Blue Data Catalog. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Athena Console. In the Query Editor, enter the query to create the database ALBGB. After the database is created, let's create our table. If you want to create an application load balancer table that uses partitions, we must define this during the create table statement. Let's paste this create table statement in the query editor. You can find this in the Knowledge Central article. As you can see, our data is partitioned on year, month, and day. Input regex is used to define the regular expression to deserialize the data. And here we are specifying the location of our logs. Let's run the query. Our table is now created. Let's view our data using select query. As you can see, the table was created, but still with zero records. This is because the partitions are not yet loaded. Let's add our partition and check again. For non-hive style partitions, we use alter table add partition to add the partitions manually. Our partition was added successfully. To check this, we can list the partitions of the table. As you can see, the partition was added and is now ready to be analyzed. Let's run an example of query. In this query, we are going to list clients in descending order by the number of times that each client visited a specified URL. Let's open a new query editor tab and create the table using partition projection now. Similar to the previous example, we have three partitions. In TBL properties, we define the type of the partition. For example, year of type integer and the range is from 2021 to 2022. In location template, we define the pattern of our data. Let's run the query. Because partition values and locations are calculated from configuration, we don't need to load partitions every time. Let's confirm this and run this query. As you can see, our data is ready to be queried. To analyze our ELB log, we can run queries on the created Athena table. For example, let's find the 10 URLs that Chrome users accessed most frequently on 20 of July, 2022. So now you know how to use Amazon Athena to analyze your application load balancer access logs stored in Amazon S3 by creating an Athena table for your application load balancer access logs. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.